What's up guys, welcome back to Skip's Guns. So, if you guys saw two videos ago, I was reviewing a quick look at what I say is a cheaper kind of version of the Staccato, and that is the Mac 9. So when I was reviewing that, I said we should review it and test it against my Apollo 11. So, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> if you guys are interested in hats or shirts, email down in the description below just simply send us an email and we will get you guys dressed to impress also i want to say a huge thank you to callaway ballistics for being the full-time ammo sponsor there is a discount code down in the description as well it's going to save you a boatload of money on ammo which is exactly what we need so uh what exactly are we going to do with these two guns today i figure since this is slightly modified and we've been going through the ringer trying to get this thing to run reliably let's just kind of put them like a head-to-head -head war and see you know who's going to come out on top basically and see which one deserves a little bit more modification so first let's start with the mac 9 where we are going to just review it really fast we have a staccato grip on this which i stippled atlas thumb safeties pinned grip safety a concealable magwell and then a Atlas base plate, EGW internals, Atlas trigger, and then a Hollow Sun PID with a Vector Optics Frenzy Pro up top. I then flush cut and crowned the barrel, as well as a keyed reverse plug and toolless guide rod and the recoil reduction. And then when we are looking at the Apollo 11, we have a recoil reduction all the original internals just tuned to a better trigger pull an atlas trigger pinned grip safety staccato grip tlr1 concealable magwell and an atlas base plate on the existing mags uh, then we opened up the ports on the barrel to make this a little bit more of a uh, compensated port i guess for lack of better words and then we're just going to kind of test and see how these things hold up against one another so let's get to it So right off the bat, I'm going to say that you're definitely hearing a lot more with the ported Apollo. They both seem to shoot similar. Um, I feel like the full-size dust cover on the Apollo helps recoil mitigation just a little bit more, but uh, that could also have a lot to do with the port itself. That's kind of why I want to go into this slide and do probably the three little pigs, just because we've done the plague. We know the V2 works. It's a little bit more conservative, and that's kind of where this steps in. That's why I wanted to make these ports a little bit bigger to see how far we could take it. But so far, so good. They both seem to be running really accurately, really well. And uh, I think it's a really good comparison at this point.
right, so here's the Mac 9. We, uh, I don't want to keep you too long, so we're just going to see how fast and how quick you can transition stuff. I'm going to be honest, this thing is slowly becoming one of my favorite guns, but uh, this Apollo is definitely right up there, especially now with this different port setup I got. It's very fast. I mean, you can rip through 21 rounds like nobody's business. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Comment if down below, let me know what you think. Don't forget, hats, shirts. Remember, stay safe, believe and achieve, and we'll check you later.